What up, guys? Today I'm gonna be doing what if Naruto was was in the village hidden in the blood. So the village hidden in the blood is very um. People there are have a lot of bloodlust, and they have a sea or a lake, you might call it. That is red. That's mostly where they derive their name from. So Naruto um. He is born in the Leaf Village, but then he is taken by one of Minato's close friends right before the Nine Tails attack. Nine, the Nine Tails still gets sealed with the Naruto, but he um he he goes, he goes to the village hidden in the blood, knowing Naruto will be safe there, and anybody who's looking for the Nine Tails will never find it there. So raising up Naruto, um, Minato's friend, I'm gonna call him. Nara, yeah, Nara. So Nara, te Naru, Naru, yeah, Naru, Naru, Naru teaches Naruto um some blood jutsu, which mean Naruto is gonna have a blood kick again, Kai. In this, he is immune to blood loss of this kick again, Kai. The only means of killing Naruto is decapitation. He's immune to blood loss. He he's not immune to chakra loss. And the chakra fuels his blood, so without chakra, it can be. It's pretty bad. If if the Renegon user shock sucks him dry, he was just straight. He'll die. So yeah. So yeah. So I'm gonna give him a blood kick again, guy. So he's born and raised there with his best friend Masu. So I'm gonna say right now in all my storylines. If it's a if it's a special story, or his best friend is gonna be a girl called Masu, and in this story, she's gonna be the the jerky of the seven, mm, the six tails. I think I think six tails is the one with the boil release. Yeah, six tails. And so Naruto gets raised really good. He has a loving family, and nobody knows he's a jinchuriki, so he's treated pretty well. The people are pretty nice, but they only show their bloodlust and all that when they're in battle, which they're pretty scary, which really happens. They're actually really peaceful for um for such a for such a name. They only um but when they are in a battle, their bloodlust is uncanny. So yeah, so he goes to school. He's not popular. He's not unpopular. He's just normal. He learns with Masu. They usually play together. They have a lot of fun, and yeah, they get into the academy. So the academy, he has um, he gets in with Masu, which has um, ice release or was it scorch release? I don't remember. Yeah, ice release. Let me think. Was it Scorch or Ice Release? No, it's Ice Release, so Ice. No, Scorch Release. Oh, I'm um, have to check it. And yeah. So she has Scorch Release, and and the other person is gonna be Koro. Yeah, Koro. And Koro is is a, is a Byakugan user. A Hugo. So they pass all their tests. They do. So the Bell Test, which is, um, Really normal. I, I thought it was just a Kakashi, but it's really everybody who does it. So their sensei is gonna be um Minato. So Minato, I'm gonna say is a pretty common in the, in, um, name in the Blood Village because I'm just lazy. I don't I don't want to think of a name. So yeah. So Minato. So Minato says, "On your mark, get set." Oh, and Naruto says. Um, to Masu, scorch release, uh, do scorch release tornado, and make scorch release clones on the side. Scorch release clones are very special. If you touch them, you die. You kind of like lightning release um jutsu. If you touch them, you kind of go smoke. But for strong enough people with chakra um covers, like how it blocks Matarasu and Naruto. It's kind of like that people strong enough can not die instantly from it. So, uh, there should be more backstory in the next video. I'm just going to tell you right now. So, um, 
he says. So yeah, so they begin. He does a scorch release tornado, and one scorch release comes um out. Thinking uh Minato thinking, um that's hit, um him. He draws a shuriken at Masu. Masu clone dodges this, and Minato makes um I'm gonna say a water water wall, and I mean not water wall. Can you imagine water wall? Let me think. Yeah, I'm just gonna say water. No, no. He just um water tsunami. Blood in the hidden, the village hidden, and the blood. Blood releases. I mean, um, water is pretty common. So he does this, and he does the water tsunami, which kind of like erases the water. But then um Masu is behind him, and he goes to punch Minato, which Minato in the air, chokes a kunai her, which um, makes her evaporate, and Naruto is just right behind Minato, and he kind of make blood clones, which is actual clones clones, not shadow clones, just clones, blood clones, which have to use their power in, you no know, identical, which is completely, it's basically Naruto, it's a real person, and it can be hit, it can feel pain, everything. He has a conscience, but Naruto can control it. And the blood comb attacks him. And Minato jumps, jumps, kind of not jumps, but like kind of runs away, trying to um, get some distance between him, uh, him. And he does water bullet, which Naruto um, blood release clone gets hit with. And Naruto says that's enough of that, and he um he snaps his finger, which the blood release clone turns into back into its original form, blood. And Naruto kind of like um all the blood kind of like goes into Naruto's mouth. And Naruto says that's better. Naruto's blood is just chakra, so if Naruto has zero chakra, he's dead. That's the only way. It's kind of like blood loss for him. So Naruto doesn't. You can drain him with every drop of his blood. But his blood is basically derived from his chakra. So, yeah. Was that? Oh, yeah. So, let me continue. So, his blood is basically derived from his chakra. So, as he's um fighting this um person, and Minato, he, he, he pulls back the blood. And then, he makes droplets. Which then, he says, this is one of my trump cards. And then he says he turns himself into blood, and all the all the blood he turns himself into blood, and he and he he starts rising. Naruto can turn into blood, I will, and he can control his blood. So he's basically kind of controlling himself. So he rises up, and the blood kind of. Um, hardens. You know how when you have blood and you leave it for a while, it hardens. That's how Naruto goes, and it, it hardens into a thick shell, and it kind of makes a, a pointy like a bullet, and it goes, which goes at some crazy speeds. Minato is just thinking, this is really it's kind of a prodigy. While he, while he does water cloak, he says water cloak. Provide healing and better chakra and stamina, but it has no offensive use. So yeah, the water cloak just has chakra and stamina boost, um, or it helps it. So yeah, and and when Naruto does this and he and he hits him, um, he he Minato gets hit with some of the pellets. And he just pulls it out and drops it onto the ground while his water cloak starts healing. But before he can even react, Naruto transforms into himself from that bullet he took out of him and he punches Minato in the face. Minato's like, oh, time to get serious. And he go and he starts screaming ah, 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 while his cloak turns into his version too. And he, he he starts stretching. Naruto, Naruto makes multiple blood bullets, but not actually turning into blood, just taking his blood. And he launches it. And Minato just flicks it away. He literally flicks it. The water chakra doesn't have any offensive uses, but it adds 
um, way more chakra and as you guys know chakra is strength and so he Minato is generating chakra and putting it into his fists and he's just flicking it similar to Samadhi Jiu Jitsu but more powerful due to the water cloak the water cloak can only be used for 10 minutes but even with this 10 minutes it has almost near infinite chakra and healing so he starts flicking it Minato says, what's up? When Masu appears behind Minato, and Minato, when Masu hits Minato with um a scorch release punch, Minato doesn't even feel it. Having chakra in his back, kind of making it stronger, harder, and Minato kicks uh, Masu, and he's Minato went into the ground as blood, and he grabs the bells. Naruto says you might be um, invincible, but you're, the bells are not. So that's where I'm gonna leave it off, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Quick shout out to my script writer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah. Bye.